Hello everyone, my name is Dylan and welcome to another interactive speaking exercise. Today we are going to be using the shadowing technique to help improve your British English speaking and pronunciation whilst helping you to train your modern RP British accent. So how does it work? Well, I will start by telling you a short story all about how to make the perfect cup of tea. Very useful, I know. I will tell you this same story three times. For the first time, all you need to do is just sit back, listen and enjoy. For the second time, you will listen again, but after each sentence, you will repeat what I have just said. For this part, it's important to try and copy exactly how I say it. It's the small details you need to focus on in order to really improve your British English speaking and pronunciation. Finally, for the third part, we will actually be reading the story together at the same time. This is the shadowing technique. So whilst this part is a bit challenging, by doing this, you will be able to perfectly imitate a natural British speaker, which of course means that you are speaking in a natural British accent. So feel free to repeat steps two and three as many times as you need to before moving on. And as always, please don't worry if you make a mistake. There's no rush. There's no pressure. If you mispronounce a word, I'm not going to turn up at your door and yell at you. It's all good. This is just you and I having a bit of fun and helping you to train your modern RP British accent, whilst most importantly, telling you how to make the perfect cup of tea. Right guys, enjoy the story. Let me tell you how to make the perfect cup of tea. To make the perfect cup of tea, you actually only need six things. That may sound like a lot, but don't worry, they are easy to get. All you need is a mug, some water, some milk, a tea bag, a teaspoon and a kettle. You start by picking your favourite mug. I like to use this one here because it's a beautiful teal colour. You then place your tea bag into your mug. Caffeinated or decaffeinated are both fine. For the next step, you need to put some water into the kettle and start boiling it. Whilst you wait, try being fully present in the moment. Take a deep breath. Once your water has boiled, you need to pour it into the mug until it is nearly full. It's important to leave room for milk, but that comes later. For now, you must let the tea bag diffuse into the water. You can do this by waiting for about two minutes, or if you are impatient, just start squeezing it for 30 seconds. That's normally what I do. Once you are happy with the strength and the colour, take out the tea bag and place it to the side. If it is too weak, you can always put it back in later. But now it's time to add your milk. Lately, I have been preferring oat milk. However, cow's milk is the classic. It's up to you. How much you add is also up to you. I normally aim for this colour here, however some may prefer it stronger or weaker. You then need to give it a quick stir and voila, you have the perfect cup of tea. Some people like to add sugar here, which is fine. Just make sure not to drink it with the tea bag still in the mug. That really annoys me for some reason. And there we have it, guys. That is the British Education Guide to the Perfect Cup of Tea. Let me know if that is what you were expecting me to say. Right, it's now time for part two. Here I will read the story again, and after each sentence, you just need to repeat what I have just said. As mentioned, it's important to try and copy exactly how I have said it 
if you want to really train your modern RP British accent. I've said it before, but an accent is like a song and you need to hit the right notes. So honestly, feel free to do this part over and over again until you are 100% confident that you sound like I do, or you're happy with how you sound in general. You can also play it at a slower speed if it helps. Right guys, best of luck. Let me tell you how to make the perfect cup of tea. To make the perfect cup of tea, you actually only need six things. That may sound like a lot, but don't worry, they are easy to get. All you need is a mug, some water, some milk, a tea bag, a teaspoon, and a kettle. You start by picking your favourite mug. I like to use this one here because it's a beautiful teal colour. You then place your tea bag into your mug. Caffeinated or decaffeinated are both fine. For the next step, you need to put some water into the kettle and start boiling it. Whilst you wait, try being fully present in the moment. Take a deep breath. Once your water has boiled, you need to pour it into the mug until it is nearly full. It's important to leave room for milk, but that comes later. For now, you must let the tea bag diffuse into the water. You can do this by waiting for about two minutes. Or if you are impatient, just start squeezing it for 30 seconds. That's normally what I do. Once you are happy with the strength and the colour, take out the tea bag and place it to the side. If it is too weak, you can always put it back in later. But now, it's time to add your milk.
Lately, I have been preferring oat milk. However, cow's milk is the classic. It's up to you. How much you add is also up to you. I normally aim for this colour here, however some may prefer it stronger or weaker. You then need to give it a quick stir and voila, you have the perfect cup of tea. Some people like to add sugar here, which is fine. Just make sure not to drink it with the tea bag still in the mug. That really annoys me for some reason. Right guys, time for the third and final part the shadowing technique. Here, you and I will be reading the story together at the same time. This section is quite challenging, so honestly take as long as you need, and you can go and repeat step two as many times as you like. The more times you do that, the easier this section will be. It's completely up to you. For this part, try and copy my voice exactly, and don't worry if you make mistakes, honestly, it's a good thing. Right, good luck and enjoy. Let me tell you how to make the perfect cup of tea. To make the perfect cup of tea, you actually only need six things. That may sound like a lot, but don't worry, they are easy to get. All you need is a mug, some water, some milk, a tea bag, a teaspoon, and a kettle. You start by picking your favourite mug. I like to use this one here because it's a beautiful teal colour. You then place your tea bag into your mug. Caffeinated or decaffeinated are both fine. For the next step, you need to put some water into the kettle and start boiling it. Whilst you wait, try being fully present in the moment. Take a deep breath. Once your water has boiled, you need to pour it into the mug until it is nearly full. It's important to leave room for milk, but that comes later. For now, you must let the tea bag diffuse into the water. You can do this by waiting for about two minutes, or if you are impatient, just start squeezing it for 30 seconds. That's normally what I do. Once you are happy with the strength and the colour, take out the tea bag and place it to the side. If it is too weak, you can always put it back in later. But now, it's time to add your milk. Lately, I have been preferring oat milk. However, cow's milk is the classic. It's up to you. How much you add is also up to you. I normally aim for this colour here. However, some may prefer it stronger or weaker. You then need to give it a quick stir and voila, you have the perfect cup of tea. Some people like to add sugar here, which is fine. Just make sure not to drink it with the tea bag still in the mug. That really annoys me for some reason.
Right, everyone, well done for doing that. The shadowing technique is not easy. However, it is very effective. So if you found that hard, good. Honestly, don't worry about it. It's supposed to be hard. <laughs> as mentioned, I would recommend repeating steps two and three as many times as you need to before moving on, just until you feel 100% confident that you are speaking in a British accent. The more times you do it, the better you will get at it, of course. If you did enjoy today's video, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel, maybe even commenting down below. I know these sound like little things, but honestly, they make such a big difference. It brings a huge smile to my face and it means I can make more of these videos. Speaking of more videos, I have made a couple of these already and I will put a playlist on the screen probably about here. And once again, it will be telling you to subscribe uh, probably, probably here. So why not do that as well? Right, guys, thank you again for watching. And until next time, cheers.